Hi guys, welcome back to Irene Tarot Cart. I'm Ren or Irene. So this week I worked on this autumn bridge piece. Um, just a little bit of a fun piece to break it up a bit. So I thought I'd do an Easter giveaway, Easter Passover giveaway, whatever you celebrate. Um, it's not a detailed piece in any way, shape or form, but it's just something with some fun colours that I thought is perfect for autumn now that all the leaves are changing and falling. Um, I would really like to work on a detailed autumn piece in the next sort of couple months while we are in autumn. Um, a little bit like the whimsical woods piece that I did for Jasmine a little while ago. But for now I thought I'll just do a small piece, do another giveaway because it's been a while since I've done one. So also this week my adventuring took me to a wonderful garden show in Melbourne. A birthday party, a drinks night um, for a girlfriend of mine where I handed over a commission that her daughter commissioned for her, which was lovely, but we got a little bit too drunk that night. Um, so I'll include a little bit of footage of that. I also made some really simple sausage rolls. This week we've been eating random things like Thai red curry and fish and chicken skewers. But I got some footage of some mushroom sausage rolls that I thought is super simple and I'll include that this week as well, later in the video. Besides coffee with people and random weekly things, I also got out in the garden, pulled some veggies out, ready to plant some winter veggies soon. I also arranged some flowers which I got footage of, Jay got me some gorgeous flowers. Um, yeah, so there's just been some random things this week that I'll include. As far as Passover cleaning or Easter cleaning, I've still got quite a lot to do, but I won't bore you with any of that this week. Um, so I suppose we should jump right into this painting. Um, the first layer, first two layers actually, it was super simple, super quick. Um, I had a lot going on emotionally. I might speak a little bit more about that later in the video. But um, the first two layers was just basically covering the canvas, putting some color on there, just some background on there. So yeah, nice and simple underpainting. So as I said earlier, we attended a drinks night this week at a girlfriend's place, handed over a commission and she absolutely loved it. So that's a relief. It's always, it's always nice when people like what you create for them. Um, we had way too much to drink, but it was a great night. Ready to go. I hope she likes the painting and her flowers. All right, let's go. Mom, come over here. I've the hole in it already. Oh, From here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rip into it. <laughs> There's the back. No. Oh, my God. It's Middle Island. You did? Damn it. You were, you were meant to not see it. You were ticked as not to be able to see it. I've seen it only the one time. Ah. Um, Middle Island, where we always have family photos. I don't know. That's why she commissioned it, especially for you. And it's a really pretty place. <laughs> wow. Very Happy birthday to the birthday girl. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, how rude. <laughs>
The next day was followed by a huge hangover, so we needed a cure of some hot chilly sweats and nothing does it better than a big bowl of ramen. So we went to our favorite ramen place with Jay and Jazz and then we just had some lazy shopping throughout the day, which was nice, just sort of strolling around, looking around at different things. Spicy dumpling. It is. You'd think it's hot. For me, it's just good. Do you have one of those, ma'am? No, I only want one. No, 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 no. Good was that? Chasing the robot. I'm not still hungover. <laughs> Jay's just walking around, doesn't know what to do with himself because it's all women's clothes. <laughs> So before I worked on the second layer, I was having what I like to refer to as a Crohn's day, um, where everything that's going on with me physically just really plays on my emotions. Um, it doesn't happen often, thank goodness. <laughs> um, but when it does, I sort of just get in a really depressive state and it takes me like basically the rest of that day and a good sleep and get up the next morning to be able to get over it um, so yeah I had a couple days this week where I was like that which a good cry and some time with my therapist as I call her Kimba my cat um, that, that always fixes things but yeah it just it just tends to happen with with everything that goes on with me physically and the constant appointments and things to do and ill health um, it does sort of get to me every now and then people don't usually see that side of me it's not something that I post on Facebook on my personal page and things like that when I am having those down days but it does happen um, and when it does you just got to kind of have a bit of a cry maybe a bit of a vent if you need to and then I think you just got to pick yourself back up and keep going because there's no point in you know staying depressive it's nothing I can change anyway but Anyway, so I was pretty depressive, I guess you would say, when I did the second layer of this piece and the third layer I was still a bit funky. But um, yeah, I didn't do a lot of detail. I just thought I'd, I'd revisit the canvas, add some color, add some background and yeah, just go with it. This week was our 32 month anniversary with Jay. Uh, we count the months, um, even though we've been engaged for like two years now, we're still counting the months since we first got together. And he had this fascination of getting me long stem red roses every month. And I said to him, you don't need to buy me long stem red roses all the time, you know. Every now and then if you do want to buy me flowers, even just a regular colorful bunch of flowers is fine. Um, so, Thankfully, I've convinced him that regular flowers are just as nice as long stem roses and he got me some lovely flowers this week So I arranged those. I also got out in the garden. I planted a little um, Planter for the windowsill in the kitchen um, Which is quite nice and pulled some veggies out of the garden um, Ready to plant some winter peas and things like that. We've already got pumpkins going 
Um, soon I'll have to pull all the tomatoes out as well and the capsicums. But yeah, there's uh, tons of chilies and capsicums still there and there's still cucumbers and still tomatoes. So I won't pull those just yet, but spend a little bit of time in the garden. Cinnamon, calm down. Some of my beautiful flowers. I love to pull flowers in little vases, one in the bathroom, one on the kitchen windowsill, and then my slate vase goes in the lounge room on the coffee table. Flowers for the whole house. Susie the lot inside and I'll pick some fresh to put in and I'll pick some of these capsicums as well. As is to my sister. Just put them in a bowl. Because Tony's got all his own chilies and mum. So they won't need them. I might make a beetroot tart. Then on the painting, I was still a bit worse for wear uh, when I did the third layer, but I thought I'd start with some details, some tree trunks and um, adding a little bit more to it. And yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't really a lot, a lot. The most work was done on the fourth and fifth layers, but at least I got some more good background in. Also this week I attended a garden show, a garden and flower expo in Melbourne. I love that we're only an hour out of Melbourne City, which was rated the most livable city several times over in the world. 
Um, however, I love living in Geelong. I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, we have everything we need. We have our own city. We're close to beaches, Great Ocean Road, hikes, huge array of restaurants you can visit. But when we do want to go to a big expo or a concert or anything like that, we have to go into Melbourne. So I did that. Um, it was pouring rain all day and the expo is indoors and outdoors. Um, so I didn't get any footage outside because I was too busy holding the umbrella and actually looking at things. But um, inside there was some art on display, there's some beautiful flower arrangements, um, there's competitions where florists compete and get gold, silver and bronze medals. So that was really nice. So I like flower decorating um, competition. And then all that at the back. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Pouring rain the whole time. So I got no footage outside at all whatsoever other than a few photos. But it was a nice show. <laughs> the weather wasn't nice. Yeah. And then after that garden show we grabbed some lunch in Melbourne, headed back home and I thought I'd work some more on the painting, adding a lot more detail now a lot more foliage, a lot more colour, so that sort of started to bring the painting together a little bit more, working on it. Hey Sinny, hey Sinny girl, Sinny girl the silly girl, Sinny girl. So food wise this week, I thought this week I'd include some super simple sausage rolls, they're just mushroom pork sausage rolls, but you can make it with beef, veal, even chicken or turkey really. Um, I think the earthiness of the mushrooms would go best with the, pol with the, pot, the, the <laughs> with the pork or with some veal or beef. But they're just really simple to throw together and they're fantastic with a salad, even cold the next day. Like I've packed these for a picnic before and they go down really well with everyone. So yeah, I thought I'd include that this week. So for the sausage rolls, I usually mm -hmm. use some pork mince, but you can use veal or anything you like basically. 
Um, into that we'll need some spices. Today I'm going to use paprika, thyme, salt, pepper. Also we need to saute some onion, garlic and then the mushrooms will go in. We'll saute them nice and golden and mix it all together. And obviously you'll need a couple sheets of puff pastry out on the bench to soften. So we want to soak some bread in a little bit of milk. This is a perfect way to use up your crust. Not a lot, just a little bit of milk. So we saute the onion first. Once that's softened and coloured a little bit, we go in with our mushrooms. And we want to colour that a little bit. And once the mushrooms are starting to turn golden, we'll go in with our garlic and saute that for a couple minutes and this will be ready to go. Pastry defrosting on the bench so that it goes nice and soft, ready by the time the meat mix is ready. On that we'll put a generous amount of paprika, some thyme, and then lots of salt and pepper. Then into the meat you'll want to pop your bread. And then the mushroom mixture, once that's all nice and golden, goes in with the meat as well. And then you just want to let that cool down for a couple minutes until you can handle it. Cut one sheet of puff pastry in half. A half a kilo of mince or one pound of mince makes enough for four rolls. So cut the pastry in half and then brush the edges with some milk wash. Then you want to roll the pastry up over the sausage and encase it as best as you can with your fingers. I cut each roll into three sausage roll lengths. Doesn't have to be perfect as you can see. Then we milk wash the top which will help them be nice and golden. Top with some sesame seeds. And into a hot oven they go. In the meantime, while the sausage rolls are baking, throw together a simple garden salad to go on the plates. Onto the plates and I just put a little bit of sriracha on mine, some dressing on the salad and that's it. Enjoy. And then this morning it was finally time to finish the painting and I still had quite a bit to do. Um, a lot more detailing of the foliage, a lot of fallen leaves, tweaking certain things, adding a bit of detail to tree trunks and the rocks and then adding the light um, which I sort of highlighted some of the foliage and obviously the ground where the light is sort of streaming through the trees. So I did that this morning. So that was about it for me this week. Um, next week I won't be uploading a vlog. It'll be Easter slash Passover. Um, I'm just going to take a week and regroup, regroup a little bit. And um, I will probably start working on a much larger scale piece, a water lily piece, just, just to work on something that I actually really want to work on. 
Um, so the following week I'll include that in a vlog and the process of that I will film if I do any painting next week. Um, in the meantime on my art page I'm going to post this piece um, as a giveaway sort of Thursday, Good Friday, somewhere around that time. Um, so if you like the piece and you're interested have a look on the page later in the week there'll be instructions on I don't know if I'll just ask people to comment or something like that and then you know they go in a draw however many comments there are I just automatically generate a number and whatever number comes up I'll just give it to that person but yeah just a fun little Easter piece for something different so that's what's going on next week and then the following week I'll do the vlog and include whatever adventures I had within that time or things that I find interesting at least. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope that you'll join me again in the next vlog in a couple weeks time. And in the meantime, have a wonderful Easter or Passover, whatever you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate anything, just have a great week or couple weeks. And thanks again. See you next time. Bye, guys.